Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this bouncing text animation is very easy to create and it is done only using After Effects. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and I'm going to call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to set this to something like let's say 10 seconds. So just click on OK. Now we have this composition. So let's create a background. So right click new solid and I'm going to make this little bit of white color. So somewhere around here, just click on OK. Now we have our background. So we are going to start by drawing a circle. So for that, I'm going to select the ellipse tool. So let's select this ellipse one. Now you can hold down the shift key and you can click and drag to create a perfect circle, something like this. So let's create it something around here. Now let's align this in the center of this composition using this align panel. And in case you are not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable this. Also make sure that the anchor point of this shape is in the center. So in case it is not, then you can select this layer, hold down the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now the anchor point will be in the center. Also you can change this setting. So if you want to have the anchor point always in the center whenever you create a shape, so you can do this. So all you have to do is just go to the edit, preferences, general. And from here you can see we have this option center anchor point in the new shape layer. So just make sure that this is checked. After that, whenever you create a shape layer, its anchor point will always be in the center. So let's start by animating this. So I'm going to press S. Let's add a keyframe for scale and let's move this little bit ahead. So in the beginning, I'm going to set this to zero. And after that, we are going to just set this to somewhere around here. Now we can select the keyframes, press F9 to ease them or you can right click keyframe assistant easy. Now let's go to the graph and if your graph looks different, then make sure you are using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now I'm going to go inside this. Let's focus on this. So I'm going to just change it to look a little bit like this. So here you can see we have the simple animation. Now after this, we want a bunch of different small circles to come out and just merge into this. So for that, I'm going to again select the shape layer and let's select this and just hold on the shift key and let's draw a circle, something like this. Again, I'm going to select this and let's align it to the center, something like that. Now I'm going to play around with its position. So let's select this, press P for position. Let's add a keyframe because this is going to be our final position. So let's just place it over here. And we want this animation to happen after our circle has scaled. So I'm going to just move the layer to somewhere around here. Now in the beginning, I'm going to just simply select this circle and I'm going to just move it outside the frame somewhere around here. So here you can see we have this. Now if I play back, you can see that it goes inside, but we want to make this a little bit more exciting. So for that, I'm going to select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph and I'm going to just change the graph. So for this one, I'm going to just make it to look something like that. So in the beginning, I want this to be really slow. And after that, we can just have a little bit of speed, something like this. So here you can see we have this sort of graph. And if I play back here, you can see we have this ball or circle which goes into this big circle something like that so once you're happy with this we can create a bunch of different copies of it so for that i'm going to just select this let's go to the very first keyframe now you can press ctrl d to duplicate this layer after that just simply select this and just move it to some random place you can also increase its scale something like that now just keep on doing this so select this press ctrl d and let's place one copy over here press ctrl d let's place one over here Again, you can play around with their scale to make them smaller or larger, however you want. Just keep on duplicating them and just place them at random places. Here you can see we have all the circles coming up. Now we don't want them to come at once. So we are going to just add a random delay. So just randomly move a couple of these layers and just add a little bit of random delay, something like that. So now you can see we have these random balls coming up. Now if you want, you can just simply select couple of these and let's duplicate them once again. Let's move them to the top and I'm going to just offset them a little bit so that we have this more balls coming in something like that. Now let's play around with their position. So I think this is looking fine. And once you're happy with this, I'm going to just select all of them and let's quickly change their color so that we can see these layers. 
let's set this to fit 100 now here you can see we have created this sort of animation so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue now as these balls or these circles are merging with this big one so i want this to have a little bit of animation so for that we can use simple wiggle expression and i'm going to select this layer and on this i'm going to search for slider controller so let's search for slider controller let's drag it over here let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate it now i'm going to select this layer and let's press p for position after that you can hold down the alt key and click on the stopwatch so that it will give an area where you can type your expression now you can type wiggle so just type wiggle after that rounded braces and after that you can just simply pick whip so select the first slider controller then add a comma then pick whip and select the second slider controller now we can control the wiggle using these sliders so for that i'm going to just pick a position where our balls start hitting this so somewhere around here somewhere around here so now i'm going to select this and let's add keyframe for both of these values now you can press u to see the keyframes over here now we can move a little bit ahead somewhere around here now i'm going to just increase this first slider quite a bit and i'm going to set the second one to something like 20. so now you can see we have added this really nice wiggle to our balls now we want this to fade away after the last ball has come so somewhere around here we can set both the values to zero something like that so here you can see we have this very nice wiggle expression and I think yeah this is looking fine we can probably make this a little bit more further something like that so yeah I think this is looking much better now if you want to add more balls then you can just simply duplicate these layers and just offset them a little bit more so that you have more bunch of different balls something like this but for this one i think we are done with this so once you're happy with this we can probably select all of these layers so we can see that over here we have all these layers merged now we can select them and we can probably trim them so for that you can hold on the alt key and just press the right square bracket so that it will trim all the layers now we are pretty much done with this part now our next step is to make this burst into smaller balls and after that they will bounce on a surface so for that we are going to first create a surface so let's go to layer make sure you are inside the composition let's go to layer new solid and i'm going to make this one red so that we can see what we are doing just click on ok now we have this solid and i'm going to just move it down so that we can create a surface something like that yeah i think this is looking fine now we are going to select the ellipse tool so again we are going to create a circle so let's draw a circle something like that now again i'm going to just align it into the center and we are ready to animate it out so for this one i'm going to animate its position so for that let's select this press p for position let's add a keyframe now i'm going to first trim this from the beginning something like that now we can probably zoom in and let's go a couple of frames ahead so somewhere around here first we want this ball to come out so i'm going to just make it somewhere around here after that i want this to go down so let's add it over here now you can zoom in so that this ball is almost at the top of this surface something like that so you can see that we have created this animation and we can tweak this further but first let's add our text so that we can define the places where our balls will bounce so let's select the text tool now it's completely up to you you can type whatever you want for this one i'm going to type let's create something so here we have our text and now i'm going to just quickly align it to the center also let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center so again hold on the control key and double click on this so now the anchor part is in the center we can probably select this press s and i'm going to just scale this down a little bit so that it looks like a tagline now if you don't want a tagline then you can have a logo here as well or you can have your text whatever you want so let me just quickly place this onto the surface so for that i'm going to just zoom in and let's just place it over here if you want you can just increase the size so yeah now we have our text and it looks perfect so let's see where we have to bounce so you can see that our first ball goes over here so i'm going to just quickly select this and let's move it over here so that it bounces from the end and let's move it over here perfect so we have our first ball and we are going to just tweak 
its path as well because we want this to be a smooth curve so for that you can select the pen tool now you can just go to this middle keyframe now you can click and drag and you can see that it will create these handles now you can just make a very smooth path something like that so you can see that our ball will follow this curve just like that now after the impact we want this ball to bounce so for that we are going to use an expression and i'm going to use this one so i will put this expression in the comments and i will pin it up so you can just copy it from there so just copy it and after that you can just select this layer now you have this position just hold on the alt key and click over here now it will give you an area where you can just paste your expression so just press ctrl v now you have added your expression now if i play back you can see that we have this ball and we have this little bit of bounce but again this is not looking much better so for that we can select these keyframes so select these two keyframes press f9 to ease them now let's go inside over here so we know that the ball will go out very quickly so for that i'm going to just make it something like that so that we have this steep curve perfect so after this we want this to slowly go down something like that so here you can see we have this but we don't want this to stop over here so for that again you can select these keyframes then right click and let's select the keyframe velocity now make sure that this continuous is checked just click on ok now we can just simply select these keyframes and we can just lift them up a little bit something like that so now you will notice that our ball will go out and now it won't stop over here and yeah, i think this is looking fine now we can play around with the timing of these keyframes so i'm going to just move somewhere around 10 frames now we can just move it over here so in order to move 10 frames you can hold down the shift key and then press page down something like that now we can just make it closer as well now if you want to have more bounces then you can just place this very close to this now you can see that our ball will bounce a lot now if you want less bounces then you can just place it far away now you can see that it will bounce less so again it's completely up to you however you want so let's place it over here so yeah, i think this is looking fine perfect so once you're happy with this we can just duplicate this and we can create bunch of different balls so for that i'm going to select this layer press ctrl d to duplicate this now we can just simply change its path for new characters so let me just quickly go and select this press u so we can see the keyframes now let's select this and i'm going to just move it over here so that it bounces somewhere over here now we can also scale this up so press s and i'm going to just make this little bit bigger and make sure that it touches the surface something like that now we can play around with the position of this keyframe so let's select this press u now let's go over here now i don't want this to be moved from here i just want it to have a simple animation so let's move it over here now we don't want this to be this curvy so i'm going to just make it less curved something like that now if i play back here you can see we have the second ball as well and yeah, i think this is looking perfect now we can add a little bit of delay to this so that these come at different points now again we can select this press ctrl d or we can select this one let's press ctrl d and again let's go to the last keyframe so you can select this press u now we can select this and i'm going to just place it over here so let's place it over let's and i'm going to just move this keyframe as well now we can reverse this so by just simply clicking on these handles you can just reverse the angle something like that let's place it over here let's add a little bit of curve just like this now if i play back here you can see we have added this ball as well and yeah, i think this is looking perfect maybe we can just make this little bit bigger so i'm going to select this press s let's make this bigger and also let's place it a little bit up perfect so here you can see we have created three balls and we have one more text left so i'm going to just select this one and let's press ctrl d and let's select this press u Let's go to the last keyframe and i'm going to just move it to this create text and again let's select this point and let's move it over here now again let's just click and just reverse this direction something like that so here you can see we have added one more ball now we are pretty much done with all the balls which we have over here but if you want to have extra balls then you can do that as well so let me just quickly add one so let's select this press ctrl d and again press u let's go over here 
and I'm going to make this little bit further. So let's just play around with the keyframes, something like that. So here you can see we have one ball that goes to this side. Something like that. So yeah, I think this is looking very amazing. Now in the same way, if you want to have more balls, then you can just do that. Let me just quickly add a couple of these balls using the same technique. So here you can see we have added bunch of different circles. Now our next step is to make this text appear. So for that, I'm going to just pick a point. So let's select this text. Now I'm going to create number of copies based on how many characters we have. So we have total four characters. So I'm going to create four copies. But first, let's create an animation so that we don't have to do it every time. So let's pick a point. So let's focus on this let's text. And you can see that the ball touches over here. So I'm going to just select this and let's add a keyframe for position. So let's press P. Let's add a keyframe because this is going to be our initial position. Let's move a little bit ahead. Now just move the text down below and let's move a little bit ahead. Just copy this text, this keyframe and paste it. Now you can select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph. Now you can see that we have this impact. Now I want this to be very strong in the beginning. So I'm going to just make the curve to look something like that. Now after that, we want this to slowly go back to its original position. So I'm going to just tweak this end part, something like this. Now, I think the keyframes are very close, so we can select all of them, hold on the Alt key and just click and drag. So here you can see we have this smooth text. And yeah, I think this is looking perfect. Maybe we can play around with the ending. Let's make this more smoother. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. Now, our next step is to create the different copies of it. So let's probably zoom in. Now we are going to select this and I'm going to create four copies because we have four letters. So press Ctrl D. So now you can see we have four copies and I'm going to create a mask for each letter. So let's select the bottom one and I'm going to select this. So I'm going to pick the rectangle tool. Make sure that this text is selected. Now you can zoom in, just click and drag and you can see that it will create a mask, something like that. Now let's select the second text, second layer and let's mask out the second text only, something like that. Let's select the third, third layer and I'm going to just mask out the third text, something like that. Now let's select the last layer and I'm going to just mask out this last text. Perfect. So here you can see we have masked all these text. Now our next step is to just align them with this impact. So let me just quickly go over here and let's start with this let's. So which is over here, we can probably move them ahead. Now before that, let's do one more thing. Let's quickly have a little bit of variation. So I don't want all of these to come at once. So we can just add variations between them. So if I play back, here you can see we have a bunch of different balls coming out. So I think this is looking fine. Now we can play around with the position of this text. So let's zoom in and you can see that the ball touches over here. So we can just move it to something like that. Perfect. So let's pick the second text and let's move it forward. So we have this ball. So let's see where it impacts. So somewhere around here, let's select this and I'm going to just pick it over here. Perfect. Let's move a little bit ahead and let's introduce our last third text. So you can see that it impacts over here. Now we have this ball. So it touches somewhere around here. So we can just move this layer to something like that. So now if I play back here, you can see we have all of these balls coming up and you can see that as the impact, we have this text coming out. Perfect. Now, as these balls are coming out of this bigger circle, we want this to shrink down. So for that, we can add a little bit of scaling animation. So let's press S and let's go to a point. So somewhere around here, let's add a keyframe for scale. Now, as these balls are going out, we can just make this disappear so i'm going to just set this to zero now we can select the keyframes press f9 and i'm going to just change the curve so let's zoom in and let's just make it look like that so now if i play back here you can see we have the circle disappearing as all of these balls are coming out and yeah i think this is looking perfect so we are pretty much done with this now our next step is to make these circles go away as well so for that we can just simply select them and let's pick a point. So somewhere around here, we can press S. Let's add keyframe for scale. 
let's go a little bit ahead and we can just set all of these values to zero so just type zero now you can see that all of these circles will go out something like that so now we are done with this and let's add our logo as well so for that i'm going to use this logo so let's drag it over here and it's white so i'm going to just apply fill so that it matches the color let's drag it over here and i'm going to just make it this dark gray color just like this now let's select this press s and i'm going to just scale this down so let's place it where we want our text something like that so once you're done with this we can animate its position so let's select this and let's press p for position let's add a keyframe because this is going to be our final position and let's go a little bit ahead and i'm going to just move it down something like that now we don't want this text to be visible over here so for that we can use track mat option from on this solid layer let me just quickly show you what i mean so we have this solid and i'm going to just move it to the top of this logo now i'm going to use this track mat option and in case you are using the older versions of after effects then you won't have this drop down instead you will have an option that will say track mat alpha mat alpha inverted luma mat something like that from that all you have to do is just select the alpha inverted but in case you are using the newer versions just like mine then you can just pick whip and just select this top layer after that just click over here so that it will invert the effect now here you can see we have this text coming up something like that now again we can select this layer press u so let's play around with the easing and i'm going to just make it look something like that so that we have this very nice text reveal perfect so after this i want all of these to move up as well so for that we can add a null object so right click new let's add a null object now we can select all of these layers so let's select this and let's go down and i'm going to select this as well so hold down the shift key to select everything and just pick whip and just parent it to the null now we can select this null and press p for position let's add a keyframe for its position let's move a little bit ahead now i'm going to just move it where i want this logo somewhere in the center just like this now you can select this and just move these keyframes let's select them press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to just change the graph to look a little bit like this so now we can probably zoom out here you can see we have this animation now you can play around with the timing of this so you can just place this over here so that you can see that the text will move after all of these have come something like that or maybe we can add a little bit of delay so somewhere around here so i think this is looking fine let's just play around with it we can probably move this text as well perfect so here you can see we have created this animation now again if you want to have just the logo then you can do that as well but if you want to have a tagline then you can do this so in this way you can create these kind of motion graphic animation where you have these balls bouncing out and you can just use it however you want so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and in case you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one